Harlem is a unique destination. One can say that it is completely different from all other resorts located on the Red Sea. Due to the nature of the destination, in addition to its terrific landscape. are visiting Mercy Island for the first time or who are interested to spend their vacation in Mercy Island, it is located on the Red Sea in the eastern south of Egypt, 700 kilometers away from Cairo and 280 kilometers away from Hurghada. interested or want to enjoy a cultural or historical sites in addition to the beach definitely they can enjoy a great vacation in Marsala as it is located near the Nile Valley and very close to Luxor so one can easily enjoy some few days in Luxor visiting the ancient temples and monuments then head straight away to Marsala to enjoy total relaxation on this beautiful beach. and the general atmosphere are of great importance to enjoy the vacation. In the past, it was just a small fishing village, but after all the developments that took place here, Marsalem became one of the most famous sea resorts on the Red Sea, and also a center for diving and sea trips, as the city contains some matchless coral reefs and driving spots. is different as we always say that Marsa Alam is a virgin land but it is also virgin when it comes to the marine life its fauna and flora the ecology system the combination of all these created one of the top spots for diving with rare features of different kinds of living creatures when it comes to diving we are used to go on a diving boat moving on across the water as the boat takes us to some specific spots for diving and usually this trips takes a full day as we move on at seven o'clock in the morning and come back at five in Marsa Alam it is completely different because simply one can enjoy diving from any place and still 
has the chance to enjoy watching the most famous and terrific living creatures in the sea. And this is what makes diving in Marsa Alam different, as the Red Sea here is in its finest shapes and colors in such an amazing city. one of the world's most exciting diving destinations. A few small breakers are the only visible sign that just below the sea's surface is the summit of a subterranean mountain, rich in colorful corals and fish speeches. to see hammerheads is probably in the deep blue of the northern point. These large animals, typically weighing 200 kilos or more, are usually found at below 60 meters, and such sightings are usually only a privilege of really professional divers. For the white tip sharks, they are frequent visitors to the elephant stone and are very curious of divers and can often be found close to the surface. So that's only necessary to descend 10 meters to have a good chance of an encounter. Elephant stone is the jewel here in the crown. And of course, here one can also see the long horned cowfish. Definitely, it's a great experience taking you to another world that is completely different from ours. has the most remarkable diving and snorkeling spots in Egypt and a very special weather as it is moderate all year long, especially in the beginning of winter. close to the Nile Valley and very close to Luxor in particular will make it possible to anyone who wants to visit Luxor to visit Marsa Alam and vice versa. One of the most interesting things that one can enjoy here is also practicing some yoga and some meditation, especially that the surrounding here provides an excellent opportunity for this and will make one feel a real peace of mind.
book. And those who do not travel read only one page. And Marsa Alam is not only a page, it is a life experience. where one can think and feel Mother Nature, a beautiful portrait created by God Almighty. The nature of its land and the marine life, even the fact that many of the hotels here, they are taking this into consideration, building and providing green life, as the ecological system is applied in many of its resorts, including, of course, the solar energy and water supply. But to enjoy the vacation, we have to learn how to give our minds a break as well. That is why we talked about meditation in the beginning. Because this is the only thing that will give us the peace of mind. And without this, no one can ever feel relaxed. Psychological relief is the secret of relaxation. Looking at such a beautiful landscape, all the surroundings, whether we are talking about the Red Sea in this area, which again is in its finest shape, the mountainous area with its beautiful virgin land, and the colors that really look amazing under this beautiful sun, and the green vast areas with all these palms and trees. One can feel this in addition to the beautiful sunny weather. Just the idea of laying down here under the sun, thinking of nothing but the beauty of nature, along with the feelings of the breeze of the sea, all this will add a true value to the vacation in Marsala. of great importance to all of us, even the kids, they need it. And they must learn how to appreciate the beauty of nature, along with playing and enjoying the vacation. who prefer Marsa Alam as a resort for the vacation understand this and they know exactly that by spending a couple of weeks here they will enjoy and gain a lot of experience. It has to do with the beauty of the place along with the services provided which one can say that everyone here is exerting the utmost effort to satisfy the guests needs. Whether we are talking about services, food or different means of entertainment all are amazing and of great satisfactory to all of the holiday makers. You tell me about Marsala, what did you like here? Um, well, the weather is great, and the uh, reef and the fishes, and the weather is perfect. From where do you come? I come from Germany, but my parents are from Russia. So this is your first time? Have you been here before, to Egypt, first of all? Uh, yes, that's my third time. Where have you been before? In 
Sun Club Calimera, Cassia Swiss Resort. No, I mean, have you been to Sharm el to Hurghada? Which resorts? Have you been to Cairo? Where have you been the last three times? Only in Marsalem. So this is your third time in Marsalem? Right. So what did you like here, first of all? Spending, uh, when it comes to the activities, not the, the nature, for example, talking about people, talking about everything. Well, um, the people here are really friendly and also when we met new people, it's really cool to know some about new, new cultures. First of all, when you came to Marsalem, tell me about your friends, for example, what did they tell you, how did you know about Marsalem? Um, well, my father has been here like 13 times and he... 13 times in Marsalem alone? With no, in Tomashe and Hogada as well. Okay. And um, he tell like the mares, uh, the sea is great, and so I wanted to go here too. So first, why your father always spend the vacation here? Because I love Egypt. I don't can explain this. I just love the country here and the people. Okay. So what did he tell you about Marsalem? Um, because this is your third time, only third time, but he, he has been here for 13 times in Egypt. Yeah, um, about the turtles and about the diving and snorkeling. Did you try diving or snorkeling? Snorkeling, yeah, I do it like every day, every second day. You like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> How do you spend the day here? Um, I'm chilling at the beach and meet new people, play volleyball. Here are really much activities here in this hotel. Yeah. <laughs> what about the night? The night I go to many shows and um, yesterday there was like a Fakir show. Fakir show, it was really great and impressive and yet yeah, what did you like about Fakir show? Uh, that the men lie down on knives and we stand up on You were on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. And you were very much scared, we all noticed this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm not the only one, like the other ladies are scared too because we thought like, yeah, we will kill him. With you were just scared even when they asked you to come just on top of him and y you were hesitated, right? Yeah, because I didn't know a, pe um, a person can do this. Yeah, it was really impressive. Did you enjoy being part of the show itself? Yeah, of course. Um, I liked it that people looked at me and um, it was nice. You got some pictures with this? Yeah, my dad made a lot of pictures and videos and... So you're going to share it on the social media? Of course I will, yes. What are you going to write about this experience? Um, that I stand on a man, on a strong man, and <laughs> it was impressive. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What's your final words to your friends, to anyone who is watching you right now about Egypt, about Marsalem? Everyone needs to go to this hotel and to Egypt because it's great and... Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey. What about you? Me? Hey, I'm more into free diving because, you know, the most of my life is free. That's why I choose the free diving, like the, not exactly the lifestyle, but, you know, when you are snorkeling, you are snorkeling about the, because of the fishes. And when you see the scuba divers, how it's hard for them to move in the sea, you are looking for something more free. What, what comes you like when you are the newborn, you know, swimming in the mother? That's the free diving about, you know, about the freedom. You are in the sea, you are like the fish. How do you spend the day, in general, both of you? you. Let's me start with you. Uh, we started... We started... Usually... Usually... Usually we wake up, like the first. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, after <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> and after breakfast we are going to the beach. You go snorkeling, you go diving. Do you have any like plans, for example, to move into the desert for a safari trip? Have you been on the boat for diving or you go from here? This is what I'm asking about. Tell me more about the experience. Yeah, exactly. Today we were on the diving boat and it was really good because you have nice reefs in front of hotels. But after a few days you want to see something more. That's why we choose today to go for the boat trip and it was really good. How long do you spend on the boat? Ah, oh, this day, just one day. When did you start? Uh, at seven, at seven o'clock. And usually you move around in the sea to the spots where you can dive and go for snorkeling, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So let me ask you at Mersal about Mersalem, for example, at night. How do you spend the night here? Do you sleep early or do you go to, so to enjoy the show or how is it? Yeah, usually just after the dinner we are going for few drinks to the... How is dinner, first of all? Amazing, of course. <laughs> you like the food here? Did you try any of the Egyptian food? Yeah, we tried some Egypt Egyptian food, not only this vacation, on our previous. Now we are more in the hotel food and it's, there is a the big part of the Egyptian food too. And yeah, it's really good. It's yeah. very tasty and for more, it's, it's designed for this weather. So at night you go to um, enjoy the show or just you go to drink and then you sleep? How, how is it with you? Hey, I'm going to enjoy the show, then we come home, I will sort my pictures because I'm, I'm making a lot of the pictures during the day, I'm going to sort them and then we're just going to fall asleep because sun is very tiring. So you told me from where you come? Czech Republic. Okay, if I ask you about um, people over there, what are they interested in for the vacation? Are you looking for the beach, for culture, for history? What they are interested in? They are interested in the peace. Because we are, we are a very hard working nation. It means when you are working like 45 hours a week, you arrive on the vacation and you just want to relax. And after a few days, when you know the area of the hotel a lot, you just start looking for something more interesting, like some safari, something we don't have in our middle Europe country. It means like the safari to the desert, safari to the sea, and all this stuff. What are you going to tell your friends about your vacation this time? This time, uh, I think it's really, really nice vacation. I think I can, can... You can tell them, this vacation, you can be really <laughs> jealous. <Okay. laughs>